Like, come on, man. Like that that that's Vlad, you gotta you, you gotta be some of your 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 the things you say, bro. You got you gotta you did not grow up in a black house. So I don't care how many black people you interview, bro. Like for some of us, for a lot of us, it's not even a question, bro. Like, it's not even a question. Like, we're not even you told goddamn Teddy Riley that every little step was Bobby Brown's biggest hit. And we know that's not his biggest hit. Like, yo, bro, you 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 interview a lot of people and you read you read shit, Wikipedia and bullshit that make you feel like you know us better than us. And, and, and that's not the case. You know what I'm saying? You got to humble yourself a little bit, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got to humble yourself. All these numbers and all this shit don't mean nothing, man. Because if you can't walk around at a black event without security and get handshakes and respect and people uh, respect you, then you're not respected in this culture. I don't care what the numbers in the comments say, this, that, and other. Until you can walk around this goddamn place and, and, and be amongst the people and get and feel that love, then then I under, then you can uh get a little more comfortable. But talking to you're not even comfortable to, to sit in the room and do the interview yourself, bro. A man can't even walk in the room and shake your hand unless you that much of a fan that you want to be there for, for the interview. It's definitely my prerogative. We all know that. That that like that's not even a come on, y'all. That's not even a, a goddamn question. Like nobody would have ever said that in the black community that every little step was Bobby's biggest record. Like, come on, my nigga. You would have to really have been living it. What was he listening to at that time to even think that that could be true? And to y'all young niggas, man, like, yo, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yo, what? Hey, is. Can somebody in Chicago talk to these young niggas that keep going up there and telling all the business? Who is the OG of the little dirks and these niggas? Let me, you know, I'm, I'm gonna make it very simple for, for y'all young dudes, right? Pull up a chair. I'm going to say this for y'all young dudes, right? And if this doesn't register with you, right? If this doesn't sit with you, if this doesn't connect with you, then there's no hope for you, right? I'm just going to say this one time. Right? I might not say it one time. I might say it again at another time. But I'm going to say this one time just for you to think to my young niggas, right? That's still in the streets that are in gangs. And if you ain't paying attention to the Young Thug trial and seeing them listening on the wiretaps and niggas telling in the precinct, Oh damn, my phone died. Oh, uh, and I'm telling in the precinct and stuff. If that that ain't enough for you, right? I I want. I'm just gonna tell you like this. For all y'all that want to go and get famous. Or think you're getting famous on Vlad because the only place you're getting famous with on Vlad if you're in the streets or you're in the gang is in the precinct. 
right? You just making their job easy, right? But this this is my thing, right? The things that you go and you sit down and you do these interviews, well, whether it was Vlad or any of these other sites that ask you about criminal stuff in your hood and this, that, and other. This, this, this is the, the key to the to it, right? This should be the wake up, right? <laughs> this should be the wake up, right? Check it out to all my little young niggas, right? The same interview that you do on Vlad, especially all y'all FGBs and all these letters and all that other stuff, right? Let me ask y'all this, right? Would you go sit in the precinct and do that same exact interview? Every question he asked you, right? Just go to all my little young niggas that's in the streets. And, and 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 go on 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 Vlad and do these interviews. Would you do that same interview, same questions, sitting in the precinct across from the police? If you say no, then something is wrong. If you could do that interview with Vlad, that same interview, every question, go back if you if you don't remember what you said and go back and look at your interview. If you say I'm comfortable with sitting down in the precinct and the police ask me every question Vlad asked me and I answer everything the same way I answer. If you telling me you are comfortable with what you said to Vlad in the precinct, and and is saying that in the precinct to detectives, then there's nothing wrong with you doing Vlad TV. Okay. If you can say everything that you say on Vlad in, in the precinct, and everybody know that you went in the precinct to say do that same interview and you are comfortable with it, if you have any reason to say, nah, I wouldn't have did that interview in the precinct, then you are a dumb nigga. Why? Because you ain't got to be in the goddamn precinct for the police to see the fucking interview or hear what you said. So once again, let me reiterate it so you get what I'm saying. All you young niggas that's on Vlad doing interviews that let them ask you these street questions, right? Would you answer all those questions, the same questions in the precinct in front of the police? Would you? And if you fucking say no, you a dumbass because you're still doing it. You're just not in the precinct. You're just doing it for every precinct. If that doesn't resonate with you, if you don't get it from that perspective, yeah, niggas will be lost forever. So if you can't go and do your same interview that you did with Vlad sitting in the precinct. Because you say, oh, I'm not talk I wouldn't talk to the police. Oh, that would be snitching. If the cops gave him the interview questions and you went and sat in his studio, wherever he told you to meet at, and you answered those same questions on camera, what is the difference from you going into your local precinct and answering those same questions for some detectives? Because you know what? The detectives can grab the remote, 
right in the preset, turn on YouTube, and watch your whole interview. So it don't matter if you sat in the preset and said it to them. You still said it. And they can see you say it. They can see who you are. And they can stay. They can get every statement from your interview. So for the last time, 